It's not that simple. The feminine flower is beautiful and delicate. Women aren't flowers. Women are weapons. Just make sure you keep the safety on. Oh, don't worry about that, mate. I always use protection most of the time. I use protection when I shower so I don't get wet. I'm just saying that women deserve genuine love and affection as much as the rest of us. If by love and affection you mean my teabag and tadger, I bloody agree. You go, Ripper! Uh, uh, Who hooked that air? Hey, like that. wasn't Maxie yeah, supposed yeah, to pick us up yeah, an hour ago? Yeah, yeah. G.D. Perfect. Tommy Steele's so angry he could eat glass. Oh, Tommy, I don't think eating glass is very good for you. That's your opinion. Ow. Hitting the bottle again. Did we lose another gig? We didn't lose nothing. Those mustard-chasing redwood climbers, Airstrap, stole it. The ruddy techno band. I think you mean techno-symphonic experience. Bro! If Tommy Steele sees those hose drinkers again, he's cracking ribs. We're losing gigs left and right, boys, and it doesn't take a GD glass eater to see it. Puh. We have to expand our audience by appealing to the only demographic that has eluded this band for the last three decades. Goose? Women. Sensitive, kind-hearted, tough-as-nails women. Like my ex, Diane. You know she once baked me a cake and gave me a black eye in the same night? I'll tell you this much, I didn't deserve the GD cake. Well, I, for one, think this Garden of Eden could use a little more Eve, if you know what I mean. Like Christmas Eve? I met Santa once. He looked like Buzz Lightyear. He means if we can't shag our fans, what's the point of having him at all? Tommy Steele don't know nothing about the Demic what's it, but he does know that rock is universal. And if there are people out there who need it in their lives, they deserve it. No matter if they've got a beef wallet or a boomstick. Or both. Do you knuckle dusters want to hear the plan or not? Well, not really ghost? Cooch Ella? I booked you boys a spot at the largest ladies only music festival this side of the Mississippi. But there's a catch. You're gonna have to pretend to be women. Goose! Oh. I don't make the rules, women do. And these women can smell a pocket rocket from a mile away. That's why you'll be performing incognito. Tommy Steele ain't wearing no dress. Dress? Ha <laughs> ha! No, 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 no. These women don't wear dresses. All you need is one of these. Well, this is shaping up to be a ruddy, disgusting episode now, isn't it? Now remember, Max said if we keep the false vaginas on, no one will suspect a thing. One ticket to Coachella, please. What the Xena is that? Oh, excuse the kerfuffle. We're just one of the bands performing. One of the bands, huh? Then how do you explain that? If dudes can grow facial hair, why can't chicks? Tommy, uh, Tammy Steele ain't gonna let a man tell her what she can grow on her face. Hey, it's okay, Cheryl. They're legit. <sighs> My name's Jez. I run this hoedown. It's a pleasure to meet you, Jez. You must be sex swing. Sorry about the security. This is a ladies-only event, after all. Cheryl, just give him the vag scanner. Whew. These babes are solid. Follow me. How'd you manage that, mate? Just one of my mini Brewster family secrets. A bloody rush. They was practically diving at me, Muff. Man, that crowd was rocking harder than a patrol boat on the Saigon. A bit of a shame, though. All those beautiful ladies and none of them want anything to do with me, Willie. What's the point of a hot dog eating contest if everyone's a bloody vegan? I met a vegan once, but he burned up in the sun. Hell of a clam jam, ladies. Not a dry pussy in the house. Thanks. She's wonderful. She's exquisite. I'm in love. Um... You don't think she's a little more Sid than Nancy? Crackers, no. She's exactly my type. But how could I even catch the prepossessing eye of such an angel? Uh. 
Mate, if love is what you're after, leave it to the master. Hey, Tommy, is that... Son of a pinko! <laughs> hey, ass clouds! Well, if it isn't Raul and his idiot arsenal Arab strap. What in the hell do you prissy cheese eaters think you're doing here? Well, well, Timmy Steele. I can't say I'm surprised to see you and your band of blowhards here. Actually, it's Tammy. This ain't no concert for your kind. <laughs> We're merely expanding our demographic. Not that we even need to. You're just lying to these ladies. Hey, Tammy, isn't that what we're- Cram it, Schling. The men are talking. This rocker won't let you deceive these metal-loving ladies. We're gonna expose you calamari-hating gas hounds. Calling Arab Strap. Arab strap to the main stage. Sorry, Timmy. That's our cue. The limelight beckons us forth yet again. Best of luck with your embarrassing ensemble. <laughs> it's Timmy! Okay, mate. Remember to stick to the bloody plan and you'll be up to your knuckles and moose in no time. See, it's that kind of talk that's making me nervous about this. Just shut your gob and only chatter up how I tells you to. Whoa! Oh, hey, Spunky. How's it not hanging? You can do it, mate. Just repeat after me. Hello, love. What do you say we quit beating around the bush? And let me start beating around your bush. Oh, my God! Excuse me. Bloody perfect! Now you got our attention. The train is in the underground, we just need to grease the rutty tracks. Okay, try this one, Anna. Is you a fan of cooks, love? I am, actually. I love a woman who can make a good meal. Cause I'd love to serve you my bangers and mash- No! Sounds pretty hoity-toity. Where do they serve it? Crotchingham, four kilometers south of Rubbington. Population me and you. Hello? Spunky mate? Biscuits in the bedroom, I'm really sorry about that. I've just never met a girl as pretty and sugary sweet as you. I just wanted you to like me. That's cute. You're not so bad yourself, babe. <gasps> what do you say the two of us find a place to chat? Hello. I feel like a princess. Now tell her you wish you was Moses so you could part her Red Seas. Tammy Steele ain't gonna let these fanny prance and potato munchers get away with this. Yeah. Potatoes have been taking advantage of women for far too long. Here's the plan. We're gonna run out there and expose those two-bit skin flakes for the liars they are. Got it. Expose the potatoes. All right, follow Tammy Steele's lead. One, two, three. Stop the music! If you can even call these whiny synth queefs music. Mm -hmm. This crummy sack of defunct divas are not what you think they are. They're lying to all of us. Uh. You can't prove anything, Timmy. For all they know, we're just another all-woman band. It's Tammy! <laughs> he was a man! They're all men! But Tammy Steele wasn't gonna let these yakety sacks take advantage of us ladies any longer. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, Tommy! I followed your lead and exposed oh. the potatoes. Jess, please! I made a mistake! <laughs> Did you really think you could fool me with this? I have a hot dog. You have a bun. Hi, I'm the Schling. I can't tell which is which. A foolproof plan, but you boys still managed to botch it worse than scrotal Botox. Well, it wasn't old bollocks. Spunky fell in love. <sighs> Alas, it was not meant to be. Turns out, a whirlwind romance with a lesbian looks more like a tropical storm when she doesn't realize you got a peninsula. Women shagging women. What a beautiful age to be alive, isn't it? Beautiful? More like GD herniating. Well, you may have screwed your chance at winning over the lady demographic, but luckily, Max is always two steps ahead. So I don't know if you caught it, but that episode had a celebrity guest in it. It did have a celebrity guest. So, uh, yeah. Celebrities love the show. <laughs> uh, and we got an even bigger, what? maybe debatable, celebrity in the next one. Well, if that's for the last episode of the season, right? Yeah, yeah. And you can check it out on Rooster Teeth if you're a first member. You just got to click this link that's uh, right below this video right now. And you find out who the big celebrity guest is.